Uh, hello everybody, another beautiful day here in quarantine land. Um, let's see what we got going on today. All right. Oh, hello friend, how are you today? Oh, that is lovely. I'm glad you're doing well. Thank you so much for bringing me food. Oh, wow. It is very kind of you indeed. Oh, yeah? Mm. Okay. I don't know what you said, but bye bye, my only friend. Sad to see you go. You're still talking to yourself. Wash my hands because that was disgusting. <laughs> hey, so I put out a video. I'm pretty proud of it. I think it's good. Uh, and everyone seems to really like it, like a lot. And and people are saying this is gonna go viral. This is definitely gonna go viral. And that's kind of cool, but I have, I don't think it is because I, I have no idea how to do that. I don't think you can just make something good and people will like it and then it goes viral. I think you have to know how to make it show up on searches, uh, like search engine optimization. Because right now, I search the exact title of the song in YouTube, and it's like the 60th choice down. You have to try to find it and not give up to get it. And there's so many other things that are not related at all before mine. And I have all these tags. I have like coronavirus, China, US, hip hop, quarantine, song, music, comedy, like all these tags, everything I can think of. Stay the fuck home, of course. And it's not helping. So if anyone knows how that works, please help me. And actually, even better, uh, easier, I'm gonna put the link uh, in, in the video when I post it, the YouTube link, just click on it. You don't even have to watch it, just click on it. Maybe a bunch of times. It'd just be fun if it got out there and it, people started uh, singing it. I want it to become like a thing, like people start videotaping themselves singing, stay the fuck home while they're in quarantine, that'd be cool. Um, yeah, other than that, I didn't do anything today. I, I finished the video and I put that out and then I did all, I did subtitles, English subtitles, and I'm trying to find a way to do Chinese, but, uh, I think that will be very difficult. I asked my friend who's fluent in English, he's Chinese, he's, he's very good. I mean, he, he watches, uh, English movies at the, um, cinema, like the, Mar he's really into the Marvel movies and, and he, and he criticizes their subtitles. He's like that attuned with the culture. He know he gets it, and he's like, no, that's a terrible subtitle. So or translation rather. Um, and I asked him, and he said, no, I think you need to get a professional. He doesn't. He doesn't think he can do a good job, which surprises me. And uh, well, it's not that important, I guess. But I think Chinese would love it. It's a pretty nice day. I had the window open for a lot of it. Pretty good. Um. Now I just got a message from the doctor, and she said that. Uh, um, she asked me if I, there's like this new, there's a new notification, she said, uh, and asked if I wanted to get a new click as a test. And I said, um, um, I said, what, no, I didn't say why not. I said, uh, I'm just gonna go through it. I said, I don't see why not. She said, if you want to, I will sign you up. And then I asked, what's the policy? I'd like to know all the information. I said, wait a minute. Uh, we are registered personnel. This test is voluntary, free of charge. We don't much, know much about the detail. That's kind of concerns. We don't know much about it. It's just weird that it would be voluntary. Like you can ask to have a test and it, I think it would be for, maybe it's because only people who have symptoms would volunteer because otherwise it was the point. But if you're feeling like maybe this is coronavirus, I should get a nucleic acid test. 
Um, she said, no, it's just an examination. I see, I really don't see a reason to, I don't have the virus. Then she said, this is, this is the, her wording here concerned me. She said, you're will, you're unwilling to have the test, yeah? Like, ooh, is that like a checkbox? Like patient was unwilling to, I don't want to be in that category. She says, it's just that there's a notice now each of us has to ask. She doesn't know why they have to ask. So I said, I'm willing to, but only if, only if there's a penalty to saying no. The fewer people I come in contact with, the better, including doctors. Um, so is there a penalty? Will I have a mark on my papers? I would prefer to have the test when I exit. And then I said, so for the record, I am willing to have the test, but I'm not asking for it. Whatever's in my best interest, I will do. And I haven't heard anything back. And that was uh, like a half an hour ago. So I don't know. It's weird. I, I have trouble trusted, trusting uh, government policies, especially when they apply to foreigners. Um, so yeah, we'll see. But uh, yeah, it's been fun. I've, I've really just been plugged in the whole day, just being like, is it getting popular yet? <laughs> I want this to get huge so badly. I didn't think it would. It's just fun to do something to pass the time with my friends. And then I realized, wait, this is actually really, really good. When I finished making the video, I was really impressed with it. And I thought, yeah, hey, this actually has the potential to be huge. And why not see if it can get there? Yeah, but uh, I, yeah, it's, it's just be, it's weird. Like you can make something really high quality, which I think this is, and then it can just flop because I didn't know how to do all the technical back, back end. Anyway. Hey there, buddy. Give you a little, a little tickle behind the ears. How are you? Open. There you go, a little scrubby scrubby for you, buddy. Does that feel good? I bet it does. Beep. Bye-bye.